Good morning! Welcome to a brand new vlog. It's about 9 a.m. I've been up since, I don't know, 7-ish. And I haven't had a coffee yet, which is weird for me because I usually wake up and immediately I want to make my coffee and then like go do my little morning routine. But we ran out of coffee yesterday. And so I ordered some last night and I was waiting for it to arrive. Thankfully, Nespresso is so fast on Amazon. It arrives, I think I ordered it at like 9 or 10 p.m. last night and it arrived before 9 a.m. this morning. The feeling of restocking this little jar where I keep all my Nespresso pods is a beautiful feeling. The lid isn't gonna fit on there for a couple days, but that's okay. Look at this cute mug I found at Home Goods yesterday. I love how the top is kind of like wiggly. If you have an espresso machine that takes this kind of pod, I think it's the original line, please try these Tokyo pods. They are the best. It tastes like a really, really, really good coffee shop made this. Recently, I have been loving just doing Americanos in the morning, which basically means I'll do one shot of espresso um, top it up with some hot water and then a little s couple splashes of half and half. As long as your espresso tastes good, it is just so delish. So that's what I've been having. I think I put too much half and half, but whatever. Now that I finally have my morning coffee, I thought I could sit down and just kind of debrief what is this vlog going to be about and just say hello. I've missed you guys. I haven't vlogged in such a long time and I certainly haven't done just like a at home chill vlog in a while. I just felt like I needed to step back from YouTube and take a little break and kind of reevaluate like what am I doing here? <laughs> and I just kept coming back to this feeling of just like I want to continue vlogging. I love YouTube. It's such a fun, beautiful place on the internet. Like I just absolutely love it. I watch a lot of vlogs and I just enjoy capturing little bits of my life and sharing them with you and connecting with you guys. I really do feel called to be on YouTube. I don't know exactly why, but I do feel like I'm supposed to be here. I feel like the break was necessary for me to understand that I do wanna do YouTube, but I probably wanna do it in a little bit more of a intentional way. I've said in the past that I wanna be more consistent and I dropped the ball on that. This time just feels different. Like I said, I feel like I've been called to it and I just, I really wanna make YouTube a big priority in my life, in my routine. And so here we are, we're back at it again. So this vlog is gonna be sort of a weekly reset, just kind of a Monday in my life type of thing. Usually I'll do the reset on Sunday, but this past weekend was so busy. Well, this yesterday was Father's Day, so we were busy celebrating my dad and my brother, who's also a dad, and we did like a big family brunch and it was really fun. But the rest of the weekend was spent um, me and Josh just in our little detached garage, which we've renovated into a little guest house. It's so cute. I can't wait to show you. Um, it's been such a long process to get this place done. We kind of started on it probably a few months into a few months after we bought the house and it's been over a year since we bought the house and we're just finishing it this week. Josh did most of the work himself because he's very handy like that and I'm so grateful for that. Um, so he pretty much did most of the work, but he does work very full time at his job. So he was only able to work like at nights and on the weekends. And yeah, anyway, it finally is coming together. Um, we actually have our very first guest coming to stay tonight. It's my mom's, like a really, really close family friend, my mom's best friend from growing up, which is so exciting. And my mom's also gonna be in town. She's gonna stay in our guest room in our house. So yeah, we spent the weekend wrapping that up. I'm gonna show you in this vlog um, what it looks like over there because it's so close to being done. We still have to like hang some things on the walls and like find a couple little more decor pieces. So I'm gonna be sort of just tying up the loose ends, getting that place completely ready, just like folding the towels because I just washed all the new towels that we bought for it. Um, folding those towels, putting them over there. I'm gonna do a little vacuum and Swiffer over there. And then I also just wanna like do a pretty good deep clean of the house today. Not like a super intense deep clean but I wanna do a clean of this house cause I didn't get around to it this weekend. I like to do it on the weekends. And like I said, this weekend was super full. So I think today is gonna be like my Sunday reset, but on a Monday. So today is gonna be a very homey vlog, cleaning the house, tidying the house, cleaning the guest house. And then what else are we gonna do? I do have a doctor's appointment this morning. Actually pretty soon I need to get going. It's an OBGYN appointment. I think it's just like a overall wellness checkup. I haven't been to an OBGYN in so many years and I know it's good to just like keep on top of it and you know 
get checked and everything. So I'm gonna go do that today and I'm kind of nervous because like I said, I haven't done it in a long time and it's just like not the most comfortable thing to do. I'm getting a pap smear, by the way. I don't know why I whispered that. <laughs> but that's what we're going to do today. So I thought maybe it would be good to bring you along just because I know a lot of girls get super nervous and like freaked out about going to the OBGYN and like getting that done. I, rem I always work myself up about it, but then whenever I go, I think I've done two so far in my life. Each time it's just been such a breeze and just like not even anything to be worried about. It's so quick, but I've never been to this particular doctor. She was really highly recommended to me. I'm really hoping that this doctor's office or doctor's appointment doesn't take all day because sometimes you go to the doctor and even though you have an appointment, you have to wait like an hour to see the doctor and it's just like such an ordeal. But anyway, I'm gonna take you along into the gynecologist. Is the OBGYN the same thing as a gynecologist? I'm not sure. I also think they're gonna do like a breast exam, exam everything. They're gonna examine everything. Anyway, here's a little reminder, make your appointment, don't put it off, get checked because it's very important. And so I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna bring you along and I'm not gonna show you obviously <laughs> anything, but I'll bring you into the office and let you know how I'm feeling. I've been sitting chatting to you here for almost 10 minutes, so I need to get on with it. I just feel like I have so much to tell you and to catch you up on. Like I started a podcast. It's called Jolly Cove. I'll link it below. It's a book club podcast. I just thought about that because I have my Kindle next to me and I need to read this book because we're talking about this book tomorrow. Ellen Hildebrand's Five Star Weekend. Um, we're recording the episode tomorrow and I have not finished this book. I'm, I'm maybe a little bit over halfway through so I really need to power through and read this tonight. I'm slightly overwhelmed with the amount of things that I want to get done today. It's okay. I was also planning to do my five minute journal. I love this thing so much. I've been doing it every morning for like a couple weeks now. Um, but I sat here and chatted to you for so long that I now need to leave right now for the doctor. Otherwise I'm gonna be late, so. I'm sorry, not the best angle for car vlogging, but my car just like isn't very vlog friendly. Green light. I've got my emotional support water bottle and we are on our way to the doctor's office. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna wanna like treat myself after this appointment, maybe I'll go to Starbucks. Well, I just had a coffee, so I'm not gonna get a Starbucks. I don't know. I'll figure some. I'll figure out some way to treat myself. You better believe it. I did bring my Kindle and my AirPods, so I can hopefully get some good reading time in while I'm waiting in the office. I'm sure every time I go to the doctor's office, there's always like such a long wait, even though you have an appointment. So hopefully there won't be a super long wait, but if there is, at least I'll get some reading in because I really need to finish this book. My appointment was at 10, so it's been almost an hour. Paperwork, waiting around. I got to read for a good amount of time, so that was good in the little waiting room. But anyway, I'm kind of nervous, but it's gonna be fine. The doctor came in. She seems super, super nice. And so I'm changing to my little robe, and I'm waiting for her to come back in. I made it out. We did it. I got my little treat. This is going to be my treat since I already had a coffee. I'm not going to go to Starbucks. But it's a mystery dum-dum. I haven't had one of these in so long. And I was hoping it was going to be blue. But oh, it's really good. It went really well. There was nothing to be scared of. I mean, it's definitely like very uncomfortable when it's happening. But you just breathe through it. It's not painful at all. It was just like it's just like uncomfy, obviously. Um, spreading your legs for a stranger. <laughs> but it's totally fine. She was super quick. She made me feel very comfortable. The doctor was amazing. She was like this really like cool young girl. She literally was like my age, I think. Definitely in her early 30s. And she was really sweet and yeah, made me feel very at ease. I'm actually so glad that I met this doctor because I feel like she's gonna be my like go-to person because I've never been set up with like my you know my like specific OBGYN or like even a general practitioner doctor I haven't like got all that set up yet and I'm 30 years old <laughs> and we have moved around a little bit like I lived in t Tennessee for a while and stuff but since we've moved back to Florida I have yet to get set up with like my regular dentist my regular doctor my regular gynecologist like all that stuff so I'm glad that I at least have one of those checked off the list and I will be definitely trying to see her every time that I need a gynecologist appointment so this is your sign it's not as scary as you think like please just go it was a lot of waiting like that was <laughs> the worst part was how long I had to wait but I also got a lot of reading in 
So it was fine. I genuinely procrastinated this appointment for such a long time. So it feels good to finally have it done. I don't need another pap smear for, I don't think, three, three years, I think is what she said. So as long as everything's normal and stuff. So I think she said the results will be back in like two weeks. They're going to call me if it's normal, if it's not normal. They're going to call me either way and we'll be good to go. But yeah, caught my sucker. I should have brought my water bottle in there because I didn't know how long I was going to be in there. But I should have brought it because I'm so thirsty. I got here at 10 a.m. and it's now 11.45. So it was a long one, but... Anywho, let's get on with the day. It's like 12.15 now. I just got home from my appointment. I stopped at Goodwill and dropped off some stuff that we need to drop off, so that was good. I feel very accomplished today already, even though I have so much to do. Um, but I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna make a little sandwich for lunch and then I'm gonna sit and read for at least like an hour because I have to get through this book. We're recording tomorrow and I really like to get the outline done the day before we record at minimum so that I can send it to my co-hosts, my besties, Hallie Bell and Michelle, so that they can just like know what we're gonna talk about and prep for the episode if they want to. I probably have like a solid three, three and a half hours left. So I will finish it tonight but I wanna like finish it before I make the outline cause sometimes like the questions in, like if I'm searching for questions and like looking up stuff about the book to make the outline with, um, it can spoil parts of the book for me. So I don't wanna have any spoilers. So I'm like really trying to get through the book so that I can make the outline after I finish. So I'm gonna read while I have my lunch and then I'm going to whip this house in shape, which I'm very excited about because we have our guest coming tonight and she's never been to our house before. And I always love to make like a nice first impression when someone comes over, I want the house to be like so pristine and cute and cozy. So that's the plan. Let's make sandwich. so good if you live somewhere that has a Publix. The Boar's Head Chipotle mayo. It's so good. It's really spicy though, so beware. reading for like an hour and a half during and after lunch so that was really good I made a really good dent in this book I feel like I'm a really slow reader which is annoying but I'm 70% throughout through this book now chapter 34 my lucky number and I wish I could just sit and finish this book right now in one sitting but I need to go start the laundry start vacuuming the house and just like tidy and organize because house is a little bit messy today not gonna lie i'm going to choose a podcast or maybe a youtube video to listen to while i get busy cleaning because that always makes it way more enjoyable okay i've been scrolling through my youtube subscription box and i think i'm gonna watch slash listen to this amelia liana vlog i love her i've been watching her for years and years and years she's like this really fabulous bougie british youtuber <laughs> it's her birthday vlog so i'm just gonna put that on in the background and get to work the tablecloth that we keep on our dining table 
but I thought I would show you what I treat stains with recently. I discovered this Miss Mouth's Messy Eater Stain Treater. It's like a tongue twister, but you get it on Amazon. It's very inexpensive. It works so well with like oil stains, food stains, all kinds of stuff. Um, I learned about this through my friend Hallie Bell when I went and stayed with her. I had like an oil stain on my really cute free people um, set and she told me to use this and it worked like a charm. So ever since then, oh, I just sprayed myself. Ever since then I have been loving this and it works so well with everything. So I use it on our tablecloth. This is just a linen tablecloth I got on Amazon. I love this so much by the way and it also wasn't very expensive. Um, and I love that this is all non-toxic. Like it's not going to be bad for your clothes or bad for you, which is really nice. But anyway, I'm just switching over laundry. I need to throw in a couple loads of clothes today as well. And then I just need to like fold and put a bunch of laundry away. So that is what we're doing. But the kitchen is super nice and clean. I just need to vacuum and swiffer the floors in there, but everything's like wiped down and looking really nice. So that is exciting. We're making progress. And I just washed this linen tablecloth by itself just because, I don't know, I get nervous that something would mess it up. situation you walk in I'm just gonna give you a quick little pan tour it's obviously not complete yet so don't judge but it's really come together I'm so excited about it this is the front door we painted it this really cute color on the outside and inside and it really makes me want to paint our front door this color we actually just recently repainted our door blue but I think I like this color better so we might switch it out anyhow I'm going on a tangent um, this is the bathroom. Josh put so much work into this place. And I mean, I feel like it's really paid off. Like look at these tiles, I love them. This vanity, everything is completely, this used to just be a garage, so. I got this little sign at Hobby Lobby the other day and I think it's so cute for the bathroom. Josh thinks it's kind of tacky, but I think we can make it cute, you know? There's no art or anything on the walls yet, so we have to do that, but other than just like hanging up the artwork and stuff, I just need to do a good vacuum, a good Swiffer in here. And then we still need to find um, dishes and some cute things to style up these exposed shelves. This is the exact same toaster that we have. <laughs> the time is very wrong on there. But this is the same toaster that we have in our kitchen, except we got it in the cornflower blue. And this is from Drew Barrymore's line at Walmart. And it has been so good to us. We love it and I think they're just so cute. So. That is that. Oh yeah, and then Josh put in this backsplash. How cute is it? I just, I love our finishes that we chose. It's just a little kitchenette, so there's no like actual cooking. That's a toaster oven slash air fryer, so you can cook a lot of stuff in there. But I don't think we're gonna have any like hot plates. There's no oven, there's no stove. And then Josh put together this little wardrobe last night so people can hang up their clothes and just have some storage there and then we just need to get a little breakfast table i think that's going to go in this little area like over here near where all that stuff is so we pretty much put all the things that we want to hang on the wall over here and we've got some really cute things like this i believe is going to go above the sink in the kitchen this i don't know where this is going to go i'm actually not the biggest fan of this style for this place i feel like it doesn't really fit and then we have this amazing flamingo framed with this like cute little antique frame. Um, I think he's gonna go in the bathroom above the toilet and then we just need to figure out what to do with the rest of it. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing here. I just found this frame at Hobby Lobby but this print is a vintage print that I found at my dad's condo in St. Pete and it's like a vintage photo of 
the Florida Keys. And I just thought that was really cute and fun that we like already had that. It's been in the family for a very long time. I love this little jute rug that we found at home. It's so good. We're not completely set on this bedding pillow situation. I love the pillows. I'm not sure about the throw. I'm gonna like try some more stuff out. And maybe go to Home Goods later today and try to find some more decor and things. Also, this is my favorite piece of decor that I found so far. It's from Home Goods. So this used to be the garage door entrance. And Josh literally just built a wall here. Don't ask me how he knows how to do that, but he just like figured it out. He knows how to do the, those things. We had to drywall everything, put in new floors. I really love these floors. I wish we could put them in our whole house because um, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of our flooring. It's like gray, not my fave. But anyway, one day in baby steps, we are gonna have our dream home. I really wanna add some more color, like pops of, like you can see the toaster is blue. I want to add a lot more color with like our art and pillows and throw blankets and things like that. I want to style this up. I want to like add a bunch of books in here. I love this vase. I found that at Target and then the palm leaf is from Hobby Lobby. They've got the best like dried palms there for a really good price. But that is the guest house. As you can tell, we're kind of going for like a very coastal, very Florida vibe. situation is complete. Look how cozy and nice the living room looks. The house just feels different whenever it's clean, you know? It just like has a different energy. It feels fresh, it feels cozy, it feels happy. <laughs> and then in here, don't mind that stuff on the ground. There's just nowhere to put it at this moment in time. Um, the kitchen is looking nice and fresh as well. I turned on the lights. I like to get the house into night mode, I call it, which basically just means I go and put on all the lamps in the house and yeah i already showed you the dining room the house looks good but i look like a hot mess so i'm gonna potentially pull myself together a little bit by the way i always love putting something on the tv like this on youtube it just like adds a vibe it this is like a cute little islandy scene with some nice relaxing music and i just love it and the bedroom is done it feels so fresh. All the laundry's put away, praise the Lord. Except there's a basket of towels over there, but that's okay. This is another project that needs to happen in front of the guest house. This is little, what would you even call this? It's to help with the water, because water collects really badly right here whenever it rains. So we need to have something that kind of, you know, so people aren't getting wet when they walk out, stepping in a puddle. So I think it'll look really nice though once it's done. Okay, it is officially cleaned, ready for Karen to check in <laughs> to her little sweet. I'm so I'm so happy with how it looks. I got everything off the floor, vacuumed, swiffered, wiped down the counters, wiped down all the surfaces, and Josh didn't have time to um, hang these things that we wanted to hang up. So I just got everything up onto the shelves for now. I also didn't have time to go to Home Goods and sort out all the dishes and stuff, but I can keep you guys posted on that whenever I officially do. But yeah, it's feeling so cozy and clean in here we need i'm like desperate to hang this i think this is going to make such an impact when it's hung it just like looks so cute but josh and i are in disagreement about where it needs to go <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna try to see if my mom can like help us figure out where to put it because she's really good at stuff like that i want to put it right there up right above the sink josh thinks it's too crowded there but i think it would look perfect it like fits perfectly up there so we'll see and then, yeah, we need to all get all this stuff hung up, but it's looking so cute. I'm so proud. Oh, and of course, the bathroom. I got the fresh towels in here. I also vacuumed and vacuumed and swiffered the floor in here. Got the cute little towels all set up. Got the trash can, bath mat, all that good stuff. We do not have a hand towel for drying your hands. Maybe I can snag one from our guest bathroom in the house. Josh just got this done so fast. I can't believe how quick that was. And it looks nice, it looks good. I think he's gonna, we're gonna buy one more pack to fill out this area. A flower just flew into the house. But Josh said he wants to get another pack of this so that we can fill out this area and it will just look a little bit more complete. It's much later now. It's like, well it's 10.30 on the dot and mom and Karen got in. We had a nice evening. We had quiche for dinner. <laughs> And then we had a glass of wine, and I have not read any more of my book, which is 
a little bit concerning because I need to, um, we're recording the episode tomorrow night and I still haven't made the outline or anything for it. So I have two hours and 45 minutes left in the book is what it says. I'm on, I'm still on chapter 34. So the plan tonight is to read, hopefully for like two-ish hours. I think I can make it, I can stay up to like 12.30. I, I don't love to stay up that late, but I think I need to tonight to get through this book. And then I'll finish it first thing in the morning, make the outline, and then we'll record tomorrow's episode. I'm so excited about it. This is probably my favorite book that we've done so far for Jolly Cove. It's just, it's so good. Thanks for coming along to clean my house with me to my doctor's appointment today. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. It feels good to be back. Like I said, it's kind of weird. I feel really rusty, but it's also really fun and feels exciting at the same time. So I'm excited to edit this vlog and get it up for you and then just start posting regular again. My, my posting day, I think is gonna be Mondays from now on. This should be going up on a Monday. So every Monday, I expect a new vlog. Hopefully I can do more like two vlogs being sprinkled in sometimes, but as for now, I'm just gonna start with one a week. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Anything that I showed or mentioned in this video, I'll try to link below. Um, if I didn't, then just comment and let me know what you want linked. And yeah, thanks for being here. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.